my name is Louise. And hi, I'm Emma. And you're listening to Murder or Myth. The true crime podcast where not everything is true. The aim of the game is to find out whether the story is actually a murder or if it's just a myth. Now, let's get started. So in this week's episode, I'm going to be telling Emma the story of the murder of 26-year-old dental nurse Madison Weiss. Okay. Okay. She was an employer at an employee at Bridgeport Orthodontics, Connecticut, about a mile and a half from her home in the New Haven town, which Madison typically walked to and from. Okay. So Miss Weiss clocked out of work at six twenty two PM on the evening of Tuesday, October third, twenty fifteen. She lived alone in her one bedroom flat and she did not return home that evening. Okay, so she didn't she left work. Left work. Didn't get to rest. Did not get to her. So the following morning, she didn't show up at work. It was noticed that she was missing. And when um, calls made to her phone wouldn't dial, her boss called the police and reported a missing person's report. Okay. Her apartment was unoccupied when police called and a search party went out looking for Madison. Right. Um, unfortunately, low luck was had. Okay, and this was still within like the same day? Well, this was the following day. The following day, though, they started searching, but, like, yeah. Yeah, the following day, they started searching. No friends and family had heard from her. So, around 1.30am on the 4th of October, so that's, like, the morning after, shall we say? Like, that night, kind of, 1.30am. Emmett Johnson arrived at Norwalk Hospital Emergency Room in Connecticut State after he had received a blow to the eye. The bones on his left eye orbit had been fractured, causing a puncture to his macula. His eye was bleeding, as well as having fracture to his sinuses and dark bruising. Okay. So in Emmett's story to the police, he said he had been mugged while walking his dog dog in a local park. Two men had come up to him, one of them had punched him in the face a few hours previous to his arrival at the hospital and had sold it, stolen his wallet. Okay. Um why would he say a few hours previous? Hmm. We'll get to that. Okay. So as Emmett was waiting to be seen by the doctor, the on call nurse for that night, Brenda Chaundry was taking care of him, giving him painkillers, that kind of thing. And while tending to Johnson, she noticed that he had two deep bite marks on his arm, which appeared to be human teeth bite marks. Okay, that's an interesting detail. So Chandri was interested by this, as you would say, and mentioned this to her supervisor. She was also slightly suspicious of Johnson arriving to the hospital hours after he said he had sustained the injuries because the blood on his face still appeared fresh. Yeah. So the hospital requested that Johnson repeat his story. However, he was insistent that his original story was the same. However, he said he had gotten his times confused. Oh, okay. And he actually went for the walk around 10 p.m. rather than 7, as he had originally counted. Still a few hours beforehand, but he had moved the time frame a bit. But that's like three hours discrepancy. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Now, they also questioned him that it was unusual his car keys were not stolen because he had driven to the hospital. Oh, yes. Which, if you're mugging someone, you're usually going to take everything. Yeah. However, he argued that they had been in a different pocket. They'd been in his jacket pocket, and they had mugged him from, like, his his pants. Okay. <laughs> so, that was... They mugged his pants. <laughs> they mugged his pants. So, so no, there was no further investigation, and he was sent home that morning. Yeah. Now, back to Wa- Madison. I was going to say Madison. <laughs> back to Madison <laughs> Wise. So, the Bridgeford, the Bridgeford um, Police Department worked with the FBI agents... To locate Weiss, offering a $15,000 reward for information leading to her finding. Now, there were a number of reports that a woman matching her height and facial uh, facial appearances and descriptions was seen in the neighbouring town, um, Ansonia. However, it was later determined that this, this wasn't Weiss. Okay. So the investigation continues. However, on October 12th, Madison's body was discovered in natural woods. And this is, like, just over an hour's drive away from Bridge from Bridgeport, where she worked. Okay, so that's a good, a good bit. She was found with torn clothing and severe bruising on her neck and body. So, her autopsy found that Madison had been killed by blunt force cranial trauma, which had caused a traverse high fracture and intracranial hemorrhage. And that's what had killed her. Okay. So, um, this then, like, spread in the media that Madison's body had been found... And Chandri now heard about this story. And she began to connect the dots. That it happened on the same night, similar time. So on October 24th, local police and FBI investigators questioned Johnson and executed a search warrant for his car. Okay. 
The doors to the left back seat were noted to have been cleaned with much more diligence than the rest of the car. And after testing, traces of Madison's blood and DNA were found in the car. Oh, right. Okay, so. And he was arrested. That's right. During further testing, the DNA from the lining of Madison's mouth was taken and matched that of Emmett Johnson. So this kind of links them all together. She had bitten him and that's where his attack had come from. Now, Johnson's blood was also found on Weiss's knuckles, confirming assumptions that she had fought back during Mm -hmm. her attack and this was the actual cause of his injuries. Okay. It was also discovered he didn't even have a dog. Oh. Like I said, he was arrested and he was put on trial for Weiss's death. Um, it was said like at the beginning of his trial that he was kind of really troubled by these accusations. Um, but as time went on, it became very clear how heavy tied it was. He appeared less concerned and eventually pleaded guilty. Yeah, I mean, there's a it lot is, of is clearly... things pointing at him. Yeah. Um, to further discredit him, it was found his credit cards had never been cancelled. And that he had lied about the mugging on the night, which discredited, which discredited his only alibi. So he admitted to um, abducting Mrs. Weiss, raping her in his car before murdering her and dumping her body in the woods, along with the murder weapon, which he claimed was a baseball bat. Now, um, the baseball bat has never been found. Okay. And um, Johnson's defense argued that this discredited his admission of guilt because uh. he admitted, I've killed her. This is my murder weapon. This is where it should be. But they couldn't find it. Okay. However, that still didn't discredit his story further mm-hmm. enough, and the jury found him guilty of one count of kidnapping resulting in death and two counts of making false statements to agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Right. He was given a life sentence in prison and was brought to the USP Terracruz. Johnson was transferred in 2018 to Bergen State Prison, which is also in Connecticut. However, three months later, on May 18th, 2018, Johnson committed suicide with a bed sheet in his prison cell. Ew. Yeah. And that is the end of the story. Okay, wow. Sad story. Oh, that went so fast again. Mm. Probably not. Probably Run eight minutes. I'm just reading it. Yeah, fair. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts? So, so much detail. Like, so much technical detail as well. Mm. So, that is... And, like, a lot of different things, a lot of medical terms, a lot of different things like that is making me going to say murder. If it was a myth, like, the the most amazing job. But I'm going to go with murder. Because, Because yeah. Murder, final answer, because of the detail of, like, there were certain terms, there was places, there was names, there was hospitals, there was a lot going on. Um, like you said something like intracranial whatever leading to something else mm. so a lot of that picked up on I'm gonna say murder but again if it was a myth congrats amazing myth it was in fact a myth yeah wow that was good Slay. that was very good because I was like I don't know what you think of all these things if you were starting from scratch fair yeah you know but so I just got the idea in my head of like someone fighting back and that being the tie mm-hmm. I was like, wouldn't that be so interesting? Like, if someone fought back, and then that was what like tied them. It was very interesting. No, it's a good concept and it's a good story. And there was just so many like different things you tied in, like that the fighting back, the timelines, the mugging, fair, didn't have a dog, fair. like a lot going on. Yeah, that was very good. I liked it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well done. So uh, this has been Murder or Myth with your host Louise and Emma. Is this my line? Yeah. Okay. And um, just edit this right out. And um, on this week, on this week's episode, Louise, you on this don't you? Okay. Yet again. On this week's episode, Louise stumped me, and her murder story was in fact a myth. Thanks for listening. Make sure to like and subscribe. Find us on all streaming platforms. Join us next week for another thrilling adventure. Remember, it's myth until proven murder. Schlecht.